Hi, are you struggling with this problem? This is number six on page 555 of your textbook. Um, it is in lesson 7-4. Okay, so that's in your packet also. All right, so um, we're going to use the same process that we've been using for some of the previous problems in this chapter. And um, we're, we're going to solve this using inverse operations. Okay, so when you see this equal sign, some of my students are really helped by um, drawing this. Uh, some people refer to it as a train track because it ends up kind of looking like a train track. Um, whatever we do to one side of the train track, we must do to the other. Okay, in other words, our inverse operations are to help us undo an equation and solve for a variable to isolate that variable. Um, and so that's just another way to look at it. So I am, notice that my variable a is on the right side of my equation. So I'm looking to see what operation is happening here. And we know when we have a, a number right here, in this case, it's a coefficient right next to a variable. We know that that is a, the operation that's happening is multiplication. So the inverse of op of um, multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 0 0.9 or 9 tenths, right? And um, what I do to one side, I must do to the other side of this equation or this train track, okay? We know that 9 tenths over 9 tenths is going to simply give us 1. And then 1 times a is itself. So we want to know how many times is 9 tenths go into 8 and 1 tenth, okay? Now, you could convert it to a fraction, and you could work it out that way. You may even be able to do it in your head, right? I'm just going to do um, my long division here. I know that my numerator here is right there. So it's 8 and 1 tenth divided by 9 tenths. And you remember when we're dividing we must um, move our decimal over, in other words, so that we can um, have a whole number divisor. Um, so let's see, um, same thing here. Okay, so 9 goes into 81 nine times, and um, our answer then is 9. So a is equal to 9. And we can check that. We could say, let's plug 9 back in. So 0 0.9 or 9 tenths times 9. What's that going to give us? 9 times 9 is 81. And 8 with one decimal place, right? So that's us checking our work. Okay, hopefully that helped you on this problem.